Okay, so once we know how to use if else, in fact, uh, before going for a string comparison, I wanted to show you if else if as well, just to verify if everything is working here. So what I will do is if num1 is greater than num2, I will return num1. If else if, we'll also compare. If else if, if uh, okay, so if num2 is, I mean num1 is less than num2, in this scenario, I will return num2. And then we also need a else condition here, right? So we'll say else, and this is important in expression. As you can see in expression, if I don't mention else part, you are getting an error because of course, right? Because if you are using expression, it says if must have both main and else branch. It, ah, so it, it simply says that you should have else when you are using expression. So we'll use expression and we'll return zero. So in case if both are same, we'll return zero, right? So we can also use else if in, in, in Kotlin. Now, once we have done with this, let's go for string comparison. So what we'll do is we'll create another variables. Now we'll go for val, uh, val, not val, val, and then we'll say str1, and then this is of type string. Now we'll say string value is, let's say, Naveen. We'll go for one more string here, which is str2, colon, string, and again, we'll have a string, which is Naveen. Now, as we know that though both are same, right? Now we need a third variable where I will set or we will simply use if else here, nothing else. So what I will do is I will say if, if str1, now how do you compare two string? Now if you're coming from Java background, you know that to compare two string, we use dot equals, right? So we say dot equals. Now in this dot equals, you can pass str2. So that means when you compare two objects, two string objects, we can use dot equals method. If both are same, we'll print same else will print not same right that makes sense because we are comparing this two so if they are same of course we'll print same if they are not same we'll print not same let's run this code let's see if it is working or not okay and you, see, you can see we got the output as same here because of course right both are naveen but in case if i change this to small n now if you run this code now we have two different values right one is capital naveen and second is small naveen here Let's see what happens. And the output you got here is not same. Now, in, in case of Java, we have some methods, right? We say equals, uh, okay, so we can, we can set the, we can set the uh, uh, parameters here. Now, we can also set one more parameter. We can say uh, is ignored. If I say true, now it may ignore. So if you want to ignore the case, you can see the, the second parameter, if you set it true, let's see what happens now. Okay, can you see that we got the output as same? That means even if you have two different string here, I mean, the both, both are same string, but then one is capital, one is small. Now, still you're getting same is because we are saying is uh, case ignored and you're saying true. So when you say true, it, that means it will not check for the case. But let's say if you don't want to do that, you go for the normal, normal comparison here. So this will give you not same, right? So let's go back to N capital. Now the thing is, uh, do we really need to use dot equals here? Can we use something else? What if you use double equal to? Because in Java, we have to use dot equals, right? But in, 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 in Kotlin, what we can actually do is we can say str equal to equal to str2. That's it. We can actually use equal to symbol here. And let's run this code. Okay. And you can see we are getting same now. But then if I use a small n, now what will happen? So instead of using... Uh, instead of using you know dot equals method we can actually use uh, uh, equal to symbol but let's see what happens now okay it says not same because the, both are different right so we have to so when you when you use uh, double equal to you can see we are getting not same because we those are those two are not same right so that's how you can work with this that's how you can compare to two string objects so yeah that's it that's how you compare strings in in Kotlin so that's it from this video. In the next video, we'll talk about something else. So that's it. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and do like this video if you liked it.